neither one of us filled out an application, right? I need y'all to listen and get all the motherfucking facts that I just motherfucking said, right? So, he called the same company. He asked the same guy that I spoke to if they were hiring. Tell me why this motherfucker said, yes, they are hiring to him. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Okay, spit it out, man. Listen, stop fucking double talking me. In this clip right here, we about to look at a young lady that was denied employment. Contract lumber out of North Carolina. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Look, I'm about to speak on some shit that a lot of people won't speak on in the trucking industry. And I'm going to tell y'all my experience I just had. And before anybody comment down below, like, oh, this and that. Think for a motherfucking minute. So, boom. I saw that this company in Sanford, North Carolina was hiring. So, I said, fuck it. I'm going to call them. I read the requirements. I meet the requirements. But I wanted to call them to, to learn more about the job, right? So, they get me to a guy that over transportation. He's like, nah, we not hiring. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope you can find a job in the future, right? Cool. But something told me to tell my homeboy to call the same company. All right? Call the same company. Fuck the experience. I'm going to be real with you. I got more experience than him. But let's take that out of the equation. Neither one of us filled out an application, right? I need y'all to listen and get all the motherfucking facts that I just motherfucking said, right? So, he called the same company. He asked the same guy that I spoke to if they were hiring. Tell me why this motherfucker said, yes, they are hiring to him. Ask him to come down to the fucking facility, do an application, all that, right? So my homeboy go, well, my closest friend just called you guys and you guys said you wasn't hiring. The dude get quiet. Damn, you done been caught in some fucking bullshit, bro. <laughs> That's real bad for your company, dog. And this goes to show... That these companies are full of shit. Y'all worried about the gender driving your fucking truck, man. It don't make no sense. But check this out. I've been knowing this since a little girl. My grandpa, my stepdad, all the males in my family done put us on game that, hey, a woman can have more experience than a male. They gonna hire the male over the woman any fucking day. So I, I ain't really too surprised that this situation happened like that. But I will say this, it's not looking too good for that company when I post this video. It's not going to look too good, bro. And yes, I'm going to put them on blast like that. Contract lumber. Fuck y'all. Because what the fuck a gender matter that driving your fucking truck? I bet you half them guys at that goddamn job couldn't do the job I'm fucking doing right now. You get me? Like this shit. Shit crazy as fuck. But hey, look. If Look, I'm about to speak on some shit that a lot of people won't speak on in the trucking industry. And I'm going to tell y'all my experience I just had. Don't worry. I got you. I'll speak on it. Yes, sir. Here's this company that she reached out to named Contract Lumber, Inc. in Stanford, North Carolina. I took the time and looked up the company on their LinkedIn profile. And yes, they are currently... Hiring, It says be one of the first 25 people to apply. And the post was posted maybe about two to three weeks ago. The position is $20 to $24 based on experience. Of course, they're located in Stanford, North Carolina. Entry level, that's all you need. So if you just got your CDLs, with minimum experience, they will be able to bring you in. This is a full-time employment. It's a management truck CDA driver job. And it's uh, published industries, published, all that good stuff. Well, here's this young lady. She decided to give them a call. She felt that she had the experience and she got turned down. Basically, she got turned down because she was a woman. 
I guess this company is not looking for women drivers. They probably might be looking for women to be in the office setting, but for somebody to drive their trucks, they're they're not looking for women drivers. That's unfortunate. So she had the great idea. Maybe I should get my homeboy to call and see what they tell him. A guy right here. So that's what he did. He called him up, said, hey, you know, I'm a CDL truck driver. Y'all looking for truck drivers. Uh, are y'all doing any hiring? And lo and behold, the same guy she talked to said yes. Come on in. Come on down. You're the next contestant. On contract lumber. So homeboy was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's funny that my homegirl called you maybe about 15 minutes ago. And you straight told her that you're not hiring. What's up with that, bro? But of course, the guy kind of you know, kind of got caught in the way. And I'm assuming the conversation did not continue after that. I'm gonna assume that they humbly hung up on the gentleman. Well, here's the situation. It's it's funny. It is it's funny that contract lumber is not the only place that does that. You have plenty of mom and pop trucking companies that don't want female drivers. And in today's equality as a woman can do what a man do world, it's it's like that. It's like that. You know, it's, it's just unfortunate that this company is being called out like that. Because if they, if that employment, if that recruiter would have told her, hey, uh, we just don't hire females or we just don't hire women. Well, of course, that would be an EEO situation. The Equal Employment Opportunity. It's supposed to be open to everybody, no matter the gender, no matter the race, no matter the creed, credence or anything like that. Now, of course, if he would have said, no, we just don't hire insert name here then yeah, they would have opened themselves up to probably an issue, a suit, a lawsuit, which this young lady will be in her rights to do. Maybe she might still do it, you know? Unfortunately, I'm not sure if they got the conversation recorded, which they probably should have did. You know, the situation with him, situation with her, they would have had it recorded. They would have had some proof and they would have, you know, escalated it to the proper channels and contract lumber would have to face some issues. But again, like I said, there's there's a lot of trucking companies that don't hire females. And it's funny. It's funny. Hey, company A, I'm a CDL driver six years of experience been driving tankers flatbed i got video proof of my hard work dedication that company turns around and be like no i'm sorry we're not hiring we're not hiring but the truth of the matter is y'all not hiring females y'all don't want a female to drive the truck contract lumber listen you probably missed out on a good employee or i'm sorry you probably missed out on a good employee man who would have known what type of loyalty this young lady would have brought to this company you would have never known that because you didn't give her the opportunity you didn't get you you didn't meet her you didn't set up a a a, a interview with her but you was quick to set up an interview with the guy you want to meet the guy. He probably had less experience, which she said he has less experience than her. And y'all still would have gave him the opportunity, you know, probably would have came, brought him in at about $15 an hour instead of 20, you know? 
You you didn't want the lady. You didn't want the lady to drive the truck, and you might not want it to pay her the top tier based on experience that you have here on your LinkedIn. Clearly, it says CDL A Class A driver needed in the North Carolina. Contract Lumber, Inc., Stanford, North Carolina. Maybe we should feature you on the next MTC segment. I don't know. You probably might be a little bit more reserved now that that this, you know, video of this young ladies is out. And now my reaction video to what you have done to this young lady is out. You know, maybe y'all probably might have to go into PR mode to clean up your act. Shorty boy when it cleans his old act up. Maybe come back out with an excuse. Or maybe, just maybe, come out with an apology to this young lady so that she might not go and escalate it any further. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Something to think about, man. But let me let you guys know, though. For real, for real, she is right. This is something that nobody talks about. Not too many people talk about it because if, you know, it, it don't happen often, you know, in 2023, you know, ladies out here is looking for the same equality as men, some of which are getting it. Ladies are coming out here doing the jobs better than men. You know, their focus, their drive is, you know, is a lot better but let me know in the comments below, y'all. Let, let me know. Has this ever happened to you? You know, ha have you called a company and one, they tell you something and then you say, hey, let me have somebody to call back and they tell them something different? Has that ever happened to you? If so, let us know in the comments below. You gotta get busy though, man. That nigga alone. Can we get busy, man, please, without you fucking up? <laughs> For real? Now turn yeah. that shit up. Turn that up. Turn that up. When I met you, I well, admit my first thought was oh, a trick. Come on. You look so good, huh? I, I suck, suck on, on your daddy's dick. dick. Never felt that way in my life. Uh -huh. It didn't take long before I been taking no more, man. Nigga, fuck it up every joint.